Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have got a very good video, I think, for you guys. Now, what is it? So, when I first started out, we did a lot of conduit bending. Uh, when I first started out, I did a lot of rigid conduit bending on a sidewinder, and that I was that's what I did every day forever and ever and ever. Got, I hated it. I love my profession, and I'm gonna show you guys something that was never taught to me. I learned it on my own. I'm also gonna show you guys how to figure out how to get two offsets going the exact same way on one piece of conduit. So you might wanna stick around for this one, and why would you use that? So if you have a box, let's say you have a box right here, and then you have a box right here. Now we're gonna pretend this is this long right here, but it's really not. So we're gonna pretend there's a box right here, and you need to get a, a box offset here, and there's a box up here, and you need to get a box offset here. Now how in the world would I get a box offset to go the exactly the same way without a dog leg, all right, on the same single piece of pipe. Well, I'm gonna show you. Real easy, extremely easy. I made it, when I first started doing it, a lot harder than what it needed to be. This video is gonna be very short, but very to the point. No stories, except one. So let's get started. All right, do me a favor, drop a thumbs up. If you guys are sick of COVID just like I am, I am fed up with it. Now, by the time you watch this video, it's very possible that our new president, which I'm hoping is Trump, but it probably won't be, but damn, I hope it is, because it's still December right now where I'm at in 2020. This video won't be out for a while. Um, but if Biden's in there, I hope he's doing what he promised, being a president for everybody, because if not, yeah. So here's a straight piece of pipe. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put two box offsets on this. Now, let me tell you something, okay? First of all, if you don't know how to bend a box offset, guess what I got for you? Whoosh. See my fingertip? Right there, right there. Right there is a video for you to learn how to uh, bend a box offset. Now, not every piece of conduit is the same. Just like not every dog is not the same or woman's not the same or whatever. But some conduits have a line down them. Some of them do not. This one here happens to have one. Now I got this piece of conduit right here from Home Depot and usually you'd go to the supply house, but you know, I was running a little low, it was late night, got the conduit, but you probably maybe be able to make a out. I'm going to really try to show you this on this conduit especially. So let me zoom in here and show you and see what happens. All right. Do you see where it says guideline? So that is our line that's from the factory that, I don't know if you guys can really tell or not, but it's there. Let me, let me define it with some black Sharpe. All right, can you, see, can you make it out now? It says guideline, you see how I did that? Like I said, not all conduits have that, but this one here does. So you can use that as a reference point. Now, I usually do not because I've done enough of these to know how to do it. Not to say you guys don't, not to say you guys will never figure it out because there was one time when I thought I could never do anything except be, just a green helper and bend and conduit. But that's because I was told that. And when somebody tells me that, well, I do better than that. Anyway, so you can use that line to do whatever you want. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, so let's talk about using that first, and then I will tell you a little bit more about bending offsets. Okay, so this line here goes all the way down the conduit. So if we're gonna use that, all right, what you could do if you want to, you can take and put a line, just a little reference line on your, on your bender, and then you can line it up with that line. So you always know, if you can see there or not, where to put it in. So box offsets. Now I'm not going to explain all about this because I said I have a video on this. If you guys want to watch that, feel free to watch it. I'll show you exactly how to bend a box offset, but we're going to go ahead and we are going to bend these together. So. Let's put it in there and let's bend it. Now, we'll just bend it a little bit. And like I said before in that video, now, when you flip it over, so you'll have to bend it obviously and then flip it over. And I use my finger, it's in that video. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, you'll know when you watch that video. And we'll just pull it down a little bit. Now, to get it so it's not dog leg, you gotta sight down it, and that's what I did. So I know that there's no dog leg in it. So this is just a little box offset, as you guys can plain and simply tell. Now, what you'll have to do is, you know where this line is? Well, on the other side, so I'm gonna highlight it here just in a second for you. So here's this end, that's the box offset on it. 
and I highlighted the other end. So all you'll have to do is use that line and put it in your bender like so. So that line is touching your mark that you already marked on your bender. So we want both of these lines up. And when I say up, I mean literally you want both these lines up. So we'll bend it a little bit more. We'll flip it over. Make sure there's no dog on it. And now we have two bends that are exactly the same. Let's put it on the wall and see if they are indeed exactly the same. There we have it. They are exactly the same, as you can see. They will be off the wall. Let's see if I can get it on frame here. Yeah, right there. So you can see they're going exactly the same way. So you can still do that without those marks. You can take a Sharpie and you can, or a pencil, you can draw a line on it. Sometimes on some of the Wheatland pipe that I remember, it had like what it looked like a place where they molded it together and had a line all the way down it. A lot of pipe still does have that on it. And then you can use that line or you can just know that when you bend one way and you bend the other, you got to put it in, you got to bend that way. So it's, it's you just got to re, however is the easiest for you to remember, that's the best way. Well, let's just say that your journeyman says, Take this piece of pipe and put two box offsets on it, all right? And you are, this is completely, you need to do it right now, fast. So you will take your Sharpe, which is French for Sharpie, all right? We're gonna go ahead and undo our Sharpie. We'll put our first box offset in, because you know it's gotta have two box offsets, so let's go ahead and bend our first box offset. This is another two for one video, guys. What the heck? I'm feeling generous tonight, I guess. Anyway. All right, so you have your first box offset, right? And you see this is, you know, your pipe. And you don't know exactly how to put it on there, all right? So, you know, this is your box offset. Now, what you want to do is you want to come up here and you want to mark, because you, your box offset needs to be just basically a mirror image of this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a mark on your pipe, just like so, all right? So your box offset was in there like this, and I put a mark on this side. So as you can see, well, let's just find out if it works or not. All right, so we're gonna take this piece of conduit right here. All right, we know we have a mark right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the bender. All right, so how are we gonna do it? We're gonna take the bender, and we're gonna put this line sticking straight up. So let me show you how that works. All right, so there's my line, right? There's my line, and we know that it needs to be straight up and down. So let's go ahead and bend it and see what happens. All right, and we'll make sure we do, we'll flip it over. So now we want the bend going the opposite way, and we'll slide it in there. So it's going the opposite way, and we'll just bend it down. Okay, there we go. So we have our first bend going this way and then our second bin going this way. All right, so let's check this out. Put it on the wall and see if it works. All right, and look at there. Now, we're not trying to make it where it's, you know, level and everything right now. This was just for demonstration purposes, but you definitely want to use the measurements and everything. But you see, you see how this thing is exactly right. Looks pretty good, huh? And subscribe. Okay, guys, if, if you found value in this content, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my uh, video. Also, if you have a minute, do me a favor. Uh, go down to your local blood bank, donate blood. It's very important that you do that. Uh, it's very near and dear to my heart. And guys, it will only help somebody else out down the road. Isn't it a great feeling to help people out when you can, like I'm doing this video? Guys, if you like what you see here, definitely leave me a comment down below. Tell me that you're gonna donate. Tell me that you like this video. Tell me anything that you may wanna see on a future video. Also, if you wanna have a video just for you because you have a real burning question that I may not answer for months, you can definitely join my Patreon account and I will be able to do a video very fast for you guys. Also, make sure that you check out my Amazon store. I have a full store down there full of stuff, electrical stuff. Um, anything that you purchase through my link will help this channel grow, may make me just a little commission, and I can keep on rolling with these videos and buying this conduit at Lowe's and Home Depot, so supporting everybody. If you like what you see here, make sure you like and subscribe. 
drop me a comment down below. If you don't like this video, hit that thumbs up three times. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.